Am I the asshole? For giving my mom the wrong start time for my birthday lunch so she'd be on time? My mom mid 40f is one of those people who is always late to everything. I'm talking family get togethers, birthdays, graduations, weddings, you name it, she's showing up late. At first, growing up, I just thought it was because she's bad with time, but as I've gotten older, I genuinely believe she likes making an entrance. I personally find it one rude and two embarrassing because it's not like it happens once in a while, it literally happens at every single function she is invited to that has a set time. Many family members have complained about this, nothing ever changes. It's gotten to the point that whenever my grandma has family lunches or dinners she'll tell me mom it starts an hour earlier than it actually does, so she'll be there on time. My mom doesn't know that my grandma does this, it's a joke between grandma and I. This past weekend was my 22nd birthday. My grandma wanted to do a lunch for me at her place with our immediate family. The lunch was to start at 2 p.m., but we told my mom 1 p.m. I had plans later that evening to go out for dinner with my boyfriend, so I wanted to leave my grandma's house at around 5 the absolute latest because I needed to go home and get all ready. Well of course my mom was late. We called her at like 2.30 p.m. to see where she was because you know, it's her daughter's birthday. She had just left her house at 2.30 p.m. and still had to pick up her BF on her way to my grandma's 30-35 minutes away so none of us were expecting her to arrive until like 3.30 p.m. She finally arrives two and a half hours late from the time we told her, makes her little entrance. We question her about. She tells us she thought the lunch started at 2. We asked her where she heard this from, she said my aunt who was present at the lunch told her. We questioned my aunt and she said she felt bad lying to my mom. Everyone is pretty annoyed, but we all move on. Fast forward an hour later 4.30 p.m. I have to start leaving. My mom starts getting all annoyed with me that I'm leaving so soon and that she barely got to see me for my birthday. I told her that my life doesn't revolve around her, and that she should have been there sooner. She started giving me attitude and listing all these excuses as to why she's late. I couldn't be bothered to hear them and left. Later that night she messaged me saying that I was acting like an R towards her and it was rude of me to lie to her about the time the lunch started. My mom and my aunt think I'm an R for lying to her. My grandma doesn't think it's a big deal and they're overacting. I came here for some outside opinions. Not the asshole. But stop lying to her. Stop accommodating her. Don't hold up any events or dinner or lunch or anything for her. If she arrives to a meal or function and it's over and the food is either gone or put away, then it's oh well, it should have been here on time. I would never hold up one more thing for her. She's rude and has no respect for other people's time. Not the asshole. Stop giving her the attention she's craving, don't let her make her scene, don't call, don't ask why she's late, go live your life and she can decide to be part of it or be late. Just stop giving a crap. When she's late, don't question it, don't remark upon it, and don't call to see where she is. Just ignore it completely. Meanwhile, start planning all the best and most fun stuff for the first hour. Stop giving her the attention and start giving her reasons to regret being late. The problem will solve itself. Or it won't, but it'll be her problem, not yours. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. But I am curious, do you hold events for her? Like, if you're eating, do you wait to serve the meal go to the restaurant until she gets there? My grandma doesn't think it's a big deal and they're overacting. Not the asshole listen to grandma she makes a lot of sense. Not the asshole but from now on set clear expectations. Lunch is at 2 p.m., we will eat no later than 2.15 p.m. Don't make exceptions or waver. Right now your family is condoning her crappy behavior so she has no consequences to make her change her ways. Not the asshole. Being late once in a while for legit reasons is fine but to be late consistently is just rude. There's no way I would have waited. 
I'd have tucked into my delicious birthday cake and asked grandma to pass the snacks. No one else wants to eat? Fine wait for mom the snail to slither in two hours late, I don't care. You were right to leave and enjoy the rest of your evening. Fuck waiting for your selfish mom. Not the asshole but stop waiting for her. If lunch is at 2, eat at 2. When she shows up at 3.30, she can reheat some leftovers and realize the world doesn't revolve around her. The moral of this story is that you need to start lying to your aunt, too. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You can tell your guest to arrive at whatever time you want to your own party. From now on, aunt gets the fake time, too. Not the asshole. It sounds like she thinks the world should revolve around her and she tries to make that a reality. Maybe next time tell her the event starts an hour before it finishes so she arrives after it's over. Hopefully that will make her arrive on time in the future, since if there is no one there, no one can see how awesome she is. Not the asshole. The fact that your mom was still late even though she knew the real time indicates that she does not respect your time, or the time of other people. Your approach to chastising her was a bit harsh, but seems warranted. Not the asshole at all. It's clear she did that on purpose and you're right, your life doesn't revolve around her. Not the asshole. Your mother refuses to work on her own issues that you have brought up many times previously, so you provided her with a band-aid solution. If the band-aid got this kind of response, I'd expect that the next step will unfortunately be not inviting her to things whatsoever. She is reaping what she's sown, and as such, shouldn't be surprised when the result is her effectively phasing herself out of your life. Not the asshole and your aunt and mom can triple times F right off. I can't stand people who do this. Rude, entitled and narcissistic. Not the asshole your mom and aunt sure are though. Her tardiness is not cute. It's rude and inconsiderate of everyone else. Your mom has no room to call anyone an R, especially in this regard. Not the asshole. Ignore her and move on. Inconsiderate people, even parents, aren't worth worrying about when they get annoyed. Why do you even invite her? Ungrateful, rude and then blames you for ruining your day. That's not a mom, that. Not the asshole and if your family are so frustrated at her timekeeping, start meals without her. Maybe give her half an hour's grace then start. She's used to everyone waiting for her. Not the asshole. It's not your fault that she is late. Keep care about yourself and go on low contact with here. Not the asshole. My aunt does this all the time and for years it would cause problems because we would have dinner ready but then have to wait an hour for her finally my mom and other aunts and uncles got so annoyed that we tell her the time and we tell her if you're more than 10 minutes late we're not waiting. Is there a reason mom is always late for things? Is she just that bad at managing time? Even if your lie wasn't called out by aunt she still would have been at least 30 minutes late. Either way, not the asshole. She's disrespecting the time of others with her being late all the time. She needs to find a fix.